Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review of the latest episode of South Park, Banned in China. And this one was somewhat better than the previous episode, but I am not digging the direction of this season so far. Because we started off again, and instead of using this usual kind of South Park thing, we're doing the whole... Tegrity Farms thing, and I'm like, okay, so this is gonna be a thing. This is gonna be the whole season probably focusing on Tegrity Farms as its thing, and I'm going, that's gonna get old real quick. Hell, it got old for this one. But, we open up, and we see that Stan is working on a song or whatnot, and that Randy decides to call them down for a family meeting, and he doesn't give a crap about Stan's song and all that. And his great idea to make one, more money for his weed business is to sell to China. So he decides to go off and try and drum up business for China. Now, I don't mind Randy-centric things and storylines. Usually they provide some of the best comedy in South Park. This is just... It's like watching somebody who has done great work and just decides to put in the bare minimum effort. Now granted, the barest minimum was the previous episode. This one at least took a little bit of liberty, but they're trying to poke fun at China and their censorship and what's going on with kind of the back and forth between the US and China, with Randy going over there to try and drum up business and when we see Stan's eventual B storyline plots more into the Chinese arc as well. However, I think that Stan's bit, again, showing that the B story could have been at least a little bit better suited as being just the whole story. Because he's writing this song for the Autumn Fest thing, and that's of course going to interfere with Randy's business trip, but he doesn't give a crap and goes anywhere and tells him to wear a Tegrity Farms t-shirt while he does it. So, we see that they go to the Autumn Fest, and we see everybody doing their usual kind of South Park kind of thing, and Stan, Butters, Kenny, and Jimmy are the ones that get up there, and they do this death metal thing, and it was funny. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of funny. I like how he's singing about fucking hating the farm like that. I'm like, all right, death metal. It's done, like, a little bit more, but it's not outplayed. So I'm like, all right, at least they knew how to temper this one. So they go, and they're pretty much practicing in their barn and all that kind of stuff. And then this music exec dude pops up and says, hey, I got to want to work with you guys. And Stan's like, hey, you want to do a record? He's like, record? What are you kids from the 90s? I'm like, okay, that one was a kind of good hit. But the thing is... The only really good hits in this episode are that, and later on when they bring out like something from South Park's past, and then when we've gotten to that point, that does not bode well. So, his big thing is to do biopics. They did it on the PC Babies, and they made like a hundred million dollars, so they're like, alright, yeah, let's do that. So everything starts kind of lining up. They're trying to do their biopic, and he's trying to make sure that anything that they've gotten there doesn't like screw with the Chinese market like we see them kind of trying to throw out all these different kind of things of how like Kenny that first they wanted the true story but then Kenny brings up doing this thing on YouTube and all that and like oh we can't like have that in there so we gotta scratch that out and then of course they start losing more of these things like they try and make Jimmy have like a cocaine problem and be homosexual but they're like oh that kind of stuff doesn't fly in China so uh Let's keep sanitizing it and sanitizing it, and as they keep going further and further, this dude from China pretty much blatantly comes up and starts changing his shit, and says like, oh, so uh, this is how the writers in Hollywood feel. And like, yeah, it's, again, it's not bad, it's just the obvious kind of jokes coming out of it. It's not like the level that South Park would have, or they do a situation and it would just go completely crazy or it would just be that well-crafted kind of joke that really hits to the heart of it. It's just like, oh, okay. <sighs> Execution is so off. Because we also see that in Randy's. Randy goes over 
we see him thinking that he's like the smartest dude ever. I'm going to get into the Chinese market. Everybody else is trying to do it. We see all these NBA stars. We see all of the Marvel and Disney people coming in, and he's pissed off. They go there. He gets knocked out at the airport because he has brought samples for his weed business and didn't think far enough ahead to be like, I think uh, marijuana is pretty much legal in China. And he just comes with a fucking suitcase full of it. Kind of funny. And then he gets thrown into jail. And they bring up the whole Winnie the Pooh thing. Pooh's over on the other side. And he's like, oh, okay. That kind of sucks for you, Pooh. He gets brought forth between it for a judge. And he just trots out the whole Tegrity Farms thing. And that evidently somehow gets him out. Because then we go to the Disney people. And we hear... Mickey Mouse pops up, and for some reason, Randy's in the fucking room. It never... I'm watching this, and I'm like, why the fuck is he here? How did these things even come together? What the fuck? Of course, Mickey is lamenting the whole fact of, like, the headaches that Winnie the Pooh's kind of dealing with. He's yelling at Thor for what he's saying and all that, and he's like, who's the one that kind of fucked this up for us? And, of course, Randy's like, oh, so this is fucked up by a dude that I don't even fucking know? And, of course, they go and they try and talk with the president of China. Mickey's pretty much running point. But uh, he says after they're sitting out front, smoking a joint because, well, it's Mickey Mouse. He's got enough money to probably clap fuck anything out to get out of that shit. So him and Randy are fucking doobie in it. And it's like, it's that fucking Pooh Bear. And then we get to the point where... Uh, who for some, and Pig with for some odd ass reason are let out of the communist facility and are wandering around looking for honey and they actually find a honey trap. Who's trying to do it? Randy fucking kills Winnie the Pooh. I don't know why. I mean, I understand why in the context of this crazy ass plot that we've got, but it's like, all right, you're killing Winnie the Pooh so you can sell weed in China. I don't care. <laughs> Again, coming down to execution, the build-up and the payoff doesn't work out quite right. We are under I understand that they're trying to make Randy be this ruthless kind of, I guess, trying to parody some kind of shit with, like, Walter White, I guess? I think that's what they're going for? Granted, we're only two episodes in, but, I mean, we got Godfather kind of references last episode. This is kind of giving me Walter White, like, I'll do whatever for the family. So... As that's kind of wrapping up, we also get the wrap up of what's going on with Stan and his guys, and he's trying to figure out what to do. He doesn't want to write something that's not from his heart and be his own authentic self, and that's of course when Kyle and Cartman come back from the detention center, and they kind of give their little kind of lowdown, and he's like, wait a minute, I have an idea, vanilla and cheesy, let's do this. And then we cut, and we see like, the Broncos live a 1984 and I'm like what the fuck am I looking at and then evidently they decided to fuse Stan's band with the finger band thing finger bang thing and we have Butters playing guitar we got Jimmy on the drums and they're doing their finger bang thing and fucking Stan just stops in the middle he's like I, I can't do this fuck this shit I, I'm not gonna sell it to the Chinese kind of shit and I don't give a I wouldn't give a spit to anybody who does dovetailing us to the end of the episode where we see Randy covered in blood and honey and Stan pretty much calls it right away. Hey, you killed me in the poop, didn't you? Like, yeah. All right, I'm going to go write a song about you. It's like, yeah, yeah, because we then also see a dump truck full of money from all of his business that he's been getting at in China. And this was just not as much of a mess as last episode, but I'm just... I was tired of the whole Tegrity Farm shit last season. If it is just going to become a cornerstone of this season and pretty much be the story throughout, God, that does not bode well, especially with the executions of what we're getting. I, rem I remember when South Park had their game point on, I would be looking forward to them kind of cracking down on China and the influence that it is having in Hollywood and media and what's going on. But this... They just went with kind of the basic kind of approach, like the easy kind of hits, and not even their 
own kind of spin. I mean, we got the whole Randy situations, but it wasn't amped up to the weird ass Randy levels that, like when he got a blockbuster and that was the shining on all that shit. That was fucking great. Or with stands, it really, if they were going to go with one storyline or the other, they should have just full force went with one or the other and fully fleshed it out and just hammered it out. I think if you're really even going to do like A and B storylines, you really have to pick one to really be the A, focus on it, make it the best that it can be, and have the B storyline be in the background for a little bit of like palate cleansing kind of, oh, okay, here we are. So I don't know. I'm very leery of what's going on with this season, and I hope, I hope it picks up and gets better, but... I got a bad feeling about this. So those are my opinions on the episode. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.